What's going on guys, my name is Adam and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create, save and import presets. This is gonna be a series where I show you guys how you can make money with Premiere Pro. I've done it myself, I've made a ton of money. If you want me to get more in depth on that, I will go ahead and create another video showing you guys my analytics of how much money I've made creating Premiere Pro presets and templates and assets while being under 20,000 subscribers. So if that's a video you guys wanna see, go ahead and leave it in the comments. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. But if you're new here, welcome to the culture and we're dropping new videos every week go ahead and like the video and show your support and also guys follow me on instagram where you can be updated where i'm dropping new product packs and let's go ahead and get started all right guys so now we're in premiere pro and as you can see i have my two pieces of footage right here i have one footage of a guy performing a music video if it'll load so here it is and then i have another one where he's performing music video again. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is create a transition preset. And you guys know how I like my presets. I like to go ahead and use nested sequences, but you can create your preset however you like it. But for, for, for this tutorial purpose, we're gonna go ahead and create a nested sequence. So what I like to do is I like to expand my timeline. I like to hold shift and go to the right twice. One, two, and I'm gonna make a cut. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the center and I'm going to go ahead and go to the left twice, the one, two, while holding shift. So that went over 10 frames. So our transition is going to be a total of 20 frames. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this, right click, scroll up to nest. I want to go ahead and press OK. And so now we have a nested sequence. So all it does is it combines video clips into one. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just create a central point for our transitions. And I'm going to have them fade um, in and then out from the center. So let's go ahead and look at some video effects. So as you can see, we have a ton of stuff to choose from right here. And if we go to our video transitions, you can see you have a ton of stuff here, but we're gonna go ahead and stick in the video effects. So one of my favorites is distort, and we're gonna go ahead and use the transform tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop that onto our timeline. I'm gonna go ahead and start in the middle. So about right here, we're gonna go ahead and make a shaking effect with the transform tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a keyframe right here. We're gonna go ahead and Put this to the front because this is our default. We're gonna go create another one and put this to the back as our default. All right, perfect. So now we need to go ahead and um, add keyframes for our scale. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is create our default one, which is at 100 um, scale and create another keyframe and bring that to the front and create another keyframe and bring it to the back. So now we have our two default keyframes in the front and in the back. And now let's go ahead and start creating our keyframes. We're gonna go ahead and go over twice and make this 120. And then we're gonna go ahead and use our position. And we're gonna go ahead and move this to the left or to the right, I'm sorry, and move this up to the corner. Perfect, move over two frames again. We're gonna move to the other corner. Perfect, and we're gonna keep doing this. All right, so I'm done. So let's check out um, what we've created actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it right here and let's check it out. So now we have a dope shake earthquake effect. And we do have some black in here. Duplicate our clip and I'll go ahead and delete this. So it looks dope. Sweet, so now we have a dope shake effect. And what can make this even cooler is if we go to our shutter angle um, uncheck this and we're gonna go ahead and make our shutter angle 180 and let's check it out again so we have a dope clip now let's add some more effects let's go ahead and just use a lens distort that'll be pretty cool let's add some curvature to this so let's go negative 20 it's a real subtle effect you can't really tell so let's go ahead and make it a little bit more prominent. So negative 50, awesome. Let's keyframe that. Let's make this zero. And let's make this zero over here. So you're not gonna be able to tell, but it just adds for a cool look. So here's what it looks like with the transform toggled off. Nice little wave warp transition. And then when we add our shake effect to it, so now let's add some flash. So I like to use the levels. And we'll go ahead and drag that onto our clip. Go ahead and close this. And then we go to our white input. You obviously wanna make a keyframe in the middle of our 
um, nested sequence and we'll go ahead and drop this down to 100. And as you can see, it brightens up. So let's go over here, make a new keyframe, drag it to the beginning. Over here, make a new keyframe by pressing this reset parameter toggle and just drag the keyframe to the end. So let's check that out. So now you get a little bright and warped shake effect to it. Oh, you know what would be cool? Let's add the x-ray. So let's go invert and let's go ahead and grab the invert from the channels. Let's go ahead and close this. And um, we can choose RGB, red, blue, HLS, saturation, luminance. Let's do luminance, looks pretty dope. So once again, we're gonna go ahead and make a keyframe right here. And we're gonna go to the end or over a few frames and make this 100%. Drag that to the beginning. Go ahead and make this 100% and drag this to the end. Now let's go ahead and check our new transition out. Looks pretty sweet, kind of has a lot going on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that, but you can leave it on if you like it. So honestly guys, this is probably a dope effect in itself. I don't wanna change that up too much. I think it looks pretty great. So we'll go ahead and save this as a preset. So what you go ahead and do is you go ahead and just click on your clip. Then we're gonna go ahead and highlight all these. So if you're on a, a Mac, you're gonna go ahead and hold command. If you're on a Windows PC, you go ahead and hold control. We're gonna right click and we're gonna press save as preset. And then we're gonna go ahead and name this and we're gonna call this shake flash transition and it looks super sick so now it's done saving so i'm going to go ahead and delete this and duplicate our clip and now as you can see we have nothing on our nested sequence but if i go to my presets tab you can see our shake flash transition i'm going to go ahead and just drag that onto our clip and as you can see we have our dope shake flash transition so now i'm going to show you guys how to export this so what i'm going to go ahead and do is create a new custom preset bin and I'm gonna go ahead and call it AKV Custom Presets. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this in here. And as you see, if you open up this folder, our presets are in there. So we can make a ton of presets. So if you wanna um, add the invert to it, we'll go ahead and create another preset and we'll call this Shake Flash, Shake Invert, sorry, Shake Invert Transition nice and it's in here already so as you see you just open up your folder it's here and i'll go ahead and show you guys how to export this so what you want to go ahead and do is go to your um, new preset bin right click and press export and then what you do is you go to wherever you want to export it and i'm going to go ahead and export it as akv favorite transitions and then to import it all you do is go to your presets tab right here right click import presets and then we have our preset right here, AKB favorite presets. And then as you see, as you can see, we already have it right here, but if we open it, we have duplicates of our transition. So that's it guys, this video was super quick, super simple. I'll show you guys how to create your presets, save your presets, export your presets and import your presets. And guys, you can use these tips to create your own presets with all the effects that Adobe Premiere Pro has. And you can use these to um, create some dope preset packs and sell them online using YouTube, your website, just like I do. If you guys want some more tips on how to make some money using Premiere Pro, I would love to make more videos. Just let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, hit that subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.